running out of things to see near home? Well, Mike Stevens says there's a lot to look at that you probably walk right by. It's his visit this time to the Photolink Library. We're lucky to live in northeastern and central Pennsylvania. So much to see right beneath your feet, it turns out, in this Joe Polanski image from Scranton. A bit down the road, perhaps a long-lost relative like the turtle Edith Dunlap found in Williamsport. Look up a little, in a tree. There, a fitting subject for this Troy Bank image from Dallas. Lazy days of summer. Closer to the ground, a hummingbird in Greentown caught by Melissa. A little bigger, a little closer, a blue jay stood for a portrait that Jeff Solomon was happy to make in Milton. Way bigger, overlooking it all, a mystery bird caught by Sherry St. Clair in Hopbottom. Royalty came to town. And here's a gaggle of geese along Honey Hole Road. Antoinette McGarry of Latimer saw them on the way to Nesquipec State Park. A little work, they just might blend in with the lily pads. You also might miss something like the little fella Donna Velosin spotted in Newfoundland. A Luna moth and a sight to see. Never run out of things to see in these parts, especially with the mountain laurel Laurie Smith of Laporte found in Sullivan County. Drive around a little and like Vicki Buck from North End, you'll find plenty of Queen Anne's lace to look at. And almost everywhere you go, you'll find what Cynthia brought of Catawissa labeled one of the signs of summer. Even when light fades and we enter a dark and stormy night, there are things to see. This from Diane Hurley Long in Riverside. More to see here with Julie Ropp's image from Danville. At Prompton Lake, a closing image from Josh Rogan, proving again that summer offers some of nature's best work. All we need do is go out and look for it. I'm Mike Stevens in the Photolink Library.